All right, so I woke up this morning to a whole bunch of notifications on my Instagram, and I didn't want to look at them because I did see it was Danny tagged me, and there was a caption, and so I wanted to react to it on camera just in case. It is something that needs to be documented starting now. So here it is. Let's see what's going on. Love you, Dre. I'm calling you guys out publicly on my feed. I never even post on my feed. You guys are sleeping. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm already up in my in my home office. You guys have wait. So I'm gonna tell you what. Hold on. Man, I'm this dude you guys up wakes up early. On my feet. I never even post on my feet. You guys are sleeping. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm already up in my in my home office. You guys have way too much free time on your hands. So I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna challenge you. Build a million dollar company in the next six months with me. We document the entire process, start to finish, marketing, website building, everything. We post it up. Teach these guys how to build a million dollar company on the Tomb 45 Academy. What do you guys say? Can't say no now, can you? Lazio. Guys, look at the process. comments. There's 38 comments, and he don't have a lot of followers like that, right? But he does have a lot of like all like day ones are hardcore followers, man. They follow Tomb Doc, right? And look at this comment. Weird. I just changed my name to Basio and Dre, and I'm in. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, Drastic Barbin, brother, you are a machine. Marv commented, I wish someone would call me out like this. This isn't impossible. This is what it's about. Iron on iron. Dang, so people can't sleep anymore, Danny? You're built different. I'm sure everyone will love the content. I cannot wait for this series. You are a madman. Love it. One million dollars, and I'll tell you where you can find him. <laughs> Everybody's tagging me. All right, so we'll do this. We'll do it. We don't have to do this, okay? If we needed a million dollars, we can get a million dollars without having to do this. I don't think that's the purpose of what Danny is trying to do. It's not about making a million dollars because if, if we want to if we if we want to do something that was a cash grab, there's a hundred different ways that we could do it, right? This is more so to teach you guys to to start a new product project from scratch and show you guys how we would do it in a way that anybody could do it i think you know like we're definitely i don't think like we're not going to take any money from 245 to do it there's no way we got way too many projects going on there we got way too much going on there but if we could do it being as busy as we are and doing you know the minimal bootstrapped as possible wouldn't it be cool to be able to show you guys so if you go to tomb45academy.com that's probably where we'll do it i gotta talk to them a little bit more in depth and see what see what the details is we'll do it on tomb45academy.com still not about money tomb 45 academy is 20 bucks a month you can cancel anytime it's not about that it's just you could put longer content you could do q a on there you can do all kinds of stuff on the academy that we really can't do if youtube or that we want to do on, on YouTube to be to be to be honest this is for the industry not for the public so yeah I like the idea hopefully you guys are into that series let me call him as actually <laughs> I saw your I saw your interesting video that you recorded at three o'clock in the morning. You know, some of us have things to do, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, I don't know. I, you might just be getting. I, 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 cool. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that if we recorded a series on start to finish and we we updated it weekly, so we record the series, but every week we drop a video of what we did that week on that business. And if we fail, it's, it's just public knowledge in the academy. And if we do good, it's public knowledge. And we show everything, like might as well show our profits and everything, right? Damn, so we're gonna be super, it's gonna be like, so it's gonna be like, almost like a public company almost well yeah i think it's gonna be even more than that because uh like I'll, I'll screen record registering the company i'll screen record when i'm buying insurance for the company i'm gonna screen record connecting quickbooks to the bank accounts damn no it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy series so, a nobody's done that b we're putting ourselves out there as business guys that we can build a million dollar company in six months and then you put that silly restriction on me, which I don't know. Like, you're not even going to let me use my money to build this thing. You want me to do it as if I was a barber and had, like, no money? Facts. It, yeah, it's got to be something anybody can do. If, because it's easy for us to do it with our following and, and the capital we already have and the resources we already have. But I, I think what you said was $5,000, right? So we can put $5,000 in the bank account. And I've got to figure it out from there how it is that we can we can build this company, right? And what it is we're going to do and all that yeah yeah i, I would i would like to to do a one video where because we there's a lot of options out there a lot of different ways someone can can you know grow a million dollars from scratch in a year what if we just throw throw up a bunch of different ideas and then we circle the one that we're going to go with when do we start this and how do we fit it into everything else because you know it's very public that we're going to be doing this so we can't 
we can't just be like, oh, I don't got time for it, right? Like, we got to drop this video weekly. And like now we put ourselves on a clock. In six months, we better have this, uh, this business running. <laughs> yeah, correct. This one's going to be completely transparent with the primary objective being teaching these guys how to do it, right? Yeah, yeah. And Yep. And, and that it can be done. All right. Everybody stay in shape. Always, you know, being active. So we added something very important to the warehouse, to the office. Get out. Oh! oh! <laughs> this is trying to kill me. Oh. This is what happens when you call Bosio and say, Bosio, come out to the warehouse and help us out for a little bit. Hey, <clears throat> if, you visit, if you visit the warehouse, you got to play me one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> if you can beat me, you get a, you get a free product. Oh, that's, that's gonna be easy. Yeah, I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I made all of them before you started recording. I don't think so. <laughs> Probably a bad idea driving in this rain and talking to you guys. Six new students for the mentorship program. We are at about 60 students, I believe in the mentorship program. And I think it's been going great, man. I think I think it's been going really, really good. I'm excited, man. I feel like this is like we're, we're molding tomorrow's industry leaders. And uh, it's exciting stuff, man. The right way though, you know, like the right way, like with some actual foundation, with some actual structure and with goals in mind that they'll hit. But anyways, I'm on my way to the office. I'm running late for a 9.30 meeting we have. I gotta get off this and uh, get jump on this conference call. Today's plans, I'll be at the warehouse till like 12.30. I'll run over to the shop, cut some hair, come home, drop a video on YouTube, create, try to create some more content. And then we got a meeting tonight with all of our existing mentorship program students. All right, so we got done with our first uh, meeting today. It was a really, really good one. We had we had results, we had action items. I got a meeting in about four minutes, and in between the last meeting that ended and the meeting that we're about to have now, I've been testing a new product that we are launching this year. So super exciting. Uh, uh, the results of it have been very exciting so far. Um, we obviously got to test it. We got to break them. We got to make sure that they're working well and then make a decision if we're, when we're going to launch them. But so far, it's been amazing. Danny and Donna, are in a, they had to leave because they had a, a lunch meeting with someone else. And then I have a, a meeting, a lunch meeting here at 12. So after this, I will run to the shop, cut hair, create some content, then try to drop something tonight, probably a tutorial tonight on YouTube along with all the things that I do in between, if the guys need me for anything. Oh, and then we got a mentorship call tonight. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and jump on this meeting. That's why it's important, guys. Dream big as hell. If you don't dream dream big, this is what a lot of people don't understand. A lot, most people, they think of dreaming big. They think realistically for themselves. But what they don't understand is that if your dream is only as big for yourself, you can't build a team because there's no space for anybody else. You got a dream so big, it requires a team of people that are better than you. They want to um, be a part of it and it needs to be room for them. If there's room for them, it's probably a dream of theirs as well. So you got to dream big, man. I didn't understand that, but I got started. So I don't pretend to be to be something that I'm not. But this is why I do these vlogs and I share this this insight because the mindset knowing this stuff if i would have known it early on you know i'm not saying i regret or anything like that but if i would have known known it early on maybe i'd be better prepared for some of the challenges that came our way so all right let me get on this meeting guys all right y'all so we are headed to the shop now i got an expansion pad in every color i'm gonna try to lay them out to create pretty much content through email blasts, through text messaging. We're gonna do a real launch. You know, we've never really done a real launch. You know, we're gonna do that on the social media platforms. And uh, so I gotta create some content for it. So heading to the shop, got a couple haircuts to do. Uh, so you guys know I haven't used the fast feeds on anyone yet. So we're about to use them now. And I'm about to test the product as well. Scrap say he watched my uh, my review, the, especially the internal one, right? Nobody has shown that part of the clipper. I seen it, I think it's pretty dope, man. Yeah, so excited to try them out. Let's see what, let's see what we work working with.
How do how do they feel, um, Trey? Good. They feel good. good. Not pulling or nothing. Yeah. All right, so we have exchanged hands. As you can see, they are in S. Crab's hands now. Get you a second opinion, third opinion, fourth opinion. We'll get you all the opinions. What you think? I think they're fired. They made they made the cut for me. They they made the starting lineup for me. I like them. So. Right now, I'm just trying to hit some to me. To me, they open up like the master should have. I don't like clippers that open up too much, but this one's like, I mean, I skipped the, the, the zero guard. Well, that's the problem we have with the neighbors. And so so far they're okay like you're not I didn't really get to use them much on my first customer which mm -hmm. was you know more uh, they died on him by the way curly guys. hair yeah um, I started on his cut and uh, they died what I was feeling uh, so felt better with curly thick hair versus the opposite so we All shall right. see we'll see the results look like you like them I will say, man, obviously they were dying last time, so I might not have been able to give them, you know, the best review on my last cut, but now that they've been charged for a little bit, different texture hair, yeah. and I will say this is the same texture hair that you used them on and you really liked them. That's facts. I really like them with his texture hair, mm -hmm. um, so I want to try them again on some different textures, but I would definitely say I've been a fast feed dude for many years. They give me that feel, man. I feel like they feel just like them. Yeah, they do. I love the sound. The sound is just like them. I know some people don't like the sound, but if you're a fast feed guy, they got the sound down. I feel like these are built more for like the details, you know, just fine. Yeah. Like if you ain't gonna mow through hair, I couldn't anyways. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna mow through hair. But and I'm actually are. liking how far that opens. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I ain't no, gonna it's lie. Not. It's not. Cool, man. Appreciate the review, my brother. After uh, S. Craft used Fast Feeds and told you guys what he thought, I had a meeting th that same night at nine o'clock with the mentorship with all the students in the mentorship program, um, which went really, really well. I want to include the montage of me doing a, a quick montage of me cut doing my self cut. I hadn't cut my own hair in like a year. Hang on, a haircut in a while. I probably get my haircut once a quarter, bro. Like or once every two months. It's it's bad. Um, but I just it's not a priority to me. It probably should be, but. It is what it is. We did the self-cut though. So here's a montage of it and be on the lookout because I'm gonna drop a tutorial of the the uh, the full cut. So look out for that. Oh, and let me know in the comments below if I should drop the unedited full haircut on the 245 Academy at 245academy.com. Let me know.